Okay, so we're 72 hours after the V-beam treatment, and I can finally see that the purple is starting to fade somewhat. Um, the cluster that was on my neck is almost all healed up. I can barely see it. And um, it's looking pretty good, I guess. <laughs> Um, nothing hurts except that place under my nose and there's a little spot on my forehead looks like it's trying to scab up but um, that kind of makes sense because it's, if it was only bruising I don't think she'd have told me that um, I had to use such gentle cleanser so um, I forgot and used a little bit of the Mary Kay that has the, the little cleansing beads in it and I could tell right away it was real too it was much too rough so Anyway, um, learn the hard way, don't forget and use the wrong stuff. I'm using all the other Mary Kay products though, the, the lotions and potions and such as that, that TimeWise puts out for the um, more advanced phase, if you will. I um, want to let you know that I know that there are so many people out there that have much worse, mine's not even bad, uh, skin conditions that they're taking care of with this V-Beam. Um, I have been diagnosed with Crest Syndrome, which is autoimmune disease, and um, what it does to the face, if, it's, if God allows it to continue on, what it will do is um, it'll, my skin will be very hard, and it will look like, some say like leather, some say like wood. It would get tight and mask feeling and looking. So um, I just want to enjoy to the best of my uh, financial ability um, some nice skin now, as good as it can get. And it can't hurt because if this disease is allowed to continue, then um, yeah, it's going to be a little bit more challenging. Uh, also, I'm getting to know my dermatologist better, and she's getting to know me better, so that we'll be able to um, do the proper uh, laser that should be able to help if the disease progresses. Anyway, just wanted to give a little heads up on that. and. Um, I took pictures of my face yesterday. I did half of it in makeup with the cover up and all that stuff, and then the other half I left um, uh, clean. So anyway, I think I might attach those two pictures just so you can uh, get an idea of how how good it does cover up. I use the um, you know the green cover up um, is to cut down on the redness. So that's what I had anyway because of all the red that was in my face. Um, so just to let you see what it looks like so you know you don't want to go to work or wherever looking like this especially but it does cover up pretty good so it's not quite as um, you know noticeable so there you go I'll be back tomorrow and we'll take a look at how much more is fading have an awesome day bye bye